Hey, what's up guys? It's Big O Notation here. Come in with a little Dragon Ball Super deck profile for you. Um, today I'm going to be showcasing my King Piccolo deck profile. Uh, and I'll hopefully be uploading a gameplay video in a couple of days or so. Um, just to keep the upload schedule consistent and stuff. Keep the content coming for everyone. So, just going to get straight into the deck profile. It's a very interesting deck. Um, it's coming out in the new set, set 12, which should be releasing in a few days. Very excited for that. Um, so, unlike a lot, unlike all of the other decks in Dragon Ball Super, you start with six life with this leader. Um, all of the other leaders start you with eight life, so it's a bit of a hindrance because you have two less life than every other player who's not playing this deck. But it does make your awakened skill a lot stronger because you get to draw three cards over two, which is normally the standard. And you get when you awaken, you get an extra life. So you effectively have seven life in the game, um, and you just get to draw an extra card when you awaken. Which is considering that when you take a life, you draw the card anyway. It's effectively the same thing. Um, so. This deck is all about having your life face up and then your leader combos guys out from the life. And then you have these three Reign of Terror cards that bring themselves out when they're comboed from the life. And they're all very strong for different situations. So the leader effect, when he attacks, you get to choose a red Namekian or demon, card, demon clan card in your hand uh, and then place it in your life face up. And if you do, you add a card from your life to your hand. So that's any of these three which you want in the life. Um, you can also put Piano and then any of your King Piccolos or Piccolo Juniors or Mechians as well. So a lot of the deck is a good target for that, but you mainly want to be using it on these three, the Reigns of Terrors cards. Um, his Awaken ability is also very unique. So it's when your life is at two or less, or if you have two face-up cards in your life. Um, and then you get to draw three and you gain an extra life and then he gets flipped over. Um, often, unless you're against an aggro deck, you don't want to be waiting until you're at two or less life to use his awaken, it's just too risky. Um, but his second awaken effect, which is if you have two or more life flipped face up, almost guarantees that you'll awaken on turn two or three. Uh, turn three if you're going first, because obviously you can't attack with your leader then. Um, and then on the Awakened side, when he attacks, you get to choose up to three red Namekian or Demon Clan cards in your hand, place them in your life face up, and then take that many cards from your life to your hand. So you'll notice on both sides of the leader, his attack uh, effect doesn't give you any inherent advantage, but by putting these guys in the life and seeing extra cards in return, that is kind of advantage in itself because these guys want to be in your life because you can bring them out for free. So it's kind of advantage in itself and you also have piano which I'll get to later. Um, and then he has an activate battle once per turn. If you have a red Namekian or demon clan card flipped face up in your life, you can place the top card of your deck in your life face up and then combo with a face up red Namekian de or demon clan card in your life. So you mainly want to combo with these three because they bring themselves out, that's why we've got four copies of each. That's the maximum number you can run in a deck and it means that you're going to be consistently having one of these 12 cards in your life so that you can just be comboing guys and bringing them out for free. Um, also because it's an activate battle you can use it on either player's turn which means that on your opponent's turn you can be bringing these guys out for free and just gaining more and more advantage. It's a really fun deck. You just get to swarm the board by like turn three and it, it just goes really crazy a lot of the time. So our unison of choice, we've got Piccolo Jr, Descendant of the King. This card just does it all for the deck. It's perfect. Um, you just get an activate main to draw a card and plus one. That's lovely. Um, just free advantage for like absolutely no cost. Um, and then he also has a really nice auto whenever your opponent activates a counter skill you just get to pop a card with 15k power or less. It's really good because in this meta there's a lot of free counter plays going on with the unisons. Um, you've got like Yamcha Merciless Barrage, the 5 drop Freezer Charismatic Villain, uh, 5 drop Trunks for blue and then uh, the 3 drop Yellow Vegeta Blocker for ye uh, yellow. So 
this guy will KO any of those that they play. Obviously, the Trunks doesn't play itself, but the other three, whenever they use the counter skill and play the card, you just get to kill it. Obviously, the counter effect and auto will still go through on that card, but you just get some nice advantage there. Also, it's not a once per turn auto, so if you're against, a, say, a blue deck that runs a lot of counter cards, and if they have like a bunch of one drops on the board, often that happens against blue, and they're like negating your attacks and stuff. Every time they negate an attack or try and counter a card you're playing, you just get to kill one of their cards. It's lovely for advantage. And then his minus two effect is amazing for this deck as well. You get to choose up to one of your red battle cards with an energy cost of three or less, and then choose all of your opponent cards with uh, power less than or equal to the chosen card and KO them, and he gains Rejuvenate for only two markers, which is incredible for a two drop person. Often Rejuvenate costs three or four markers, um, but this one only costs two, and that's really nice because you start off with low life in this deck, so it's just a nice way to get your life back up. Often the Rejuvenate doesn't come in too um, necessary for the deck, unless you're against an aggro deck, in which case you can board clear and then just gain a life. But most of the time you just want to keep your markers high on the unison so that he's completely unkillable. Uh, so moving on to the next cards, we're just going to cover the Reign of Terror cards real quick. So these guys all have the same auto at the end of a battle where this card is used in a combo from your life, you get to play him, and they're all 3 drop 15ks. Uh, this guy, Drum, he's a barrier blocker, and when he's played, he gives them an opponent, opponent's battle card minus 10k power for the turn. This card's like the perfect card to bring out on your opponent's turn with the activate battle of your leader, um, because it's a barrier blocker, so unless they're counterplaying it, he's getting, he's going to be sticking around, and you can minus 10k something, so just weakening one of their attacks if they're going all in, or just killing a free card perfect card to play on your opponent's turn and he's a blocker so he can just stop an attack he's just a very defensive card and we have symbol uh it has the same auto and his activate names if your leader is a red king piccolo card you can choose up to one of your red unisons with the rejuvenate in its skill text you may place one red demon clan card from your drop area under it if you do draw a card and then add a marker to the chosen unison so this is a way to get cards underneath the Piccolo Jr. other than putting copies of his, him under himself. Um, so just helping you to get to the rejuvenate condition of having a card under the unison. Also getting more markers on the unison is amazing for this deck because he's a 2 drop 15k unison so he is very easy for a lot of decks to kill these days. Um, so if you have this guy on the board he just offers that extra protection for the unison. And often what I like to do is make sure that on turn 2 I am playing my unison and then either putting another copy of himself underneath or getting a symbol out with my leader effect uh, on the Awaken. Which will just offer main, it will just offer extra protection because my unison will be at 4 markers on turn 2 and then I can use cards like Wolfang Fist to protect him still. Um, it just makes him almost unkillable for any deck unless they're really really aggro in which case they want to be swinging your leader anyway um also the fact that he just lets you draw a card every time and he's not got unique so you can have multiple copies of symbol out and just be drawing 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 every single time onto the next guy tambourine this guy has unique and at the end of the battle he brings himself out and combo from life and his auto is, he's effectively a bit like the old 3-drop Turles that got banned, where when he swings uh, and you meet with certain requirements, he gains 5k and restands. So this guy's requirements is, if your leader is a Red King Piccolo card and you have either 3 or more face-up cards in your life or a Red Unison card in play, which you will definitely be meeting those conditions every single time. Um, with cards under it, when this card attacks, switch it to active mode and it gains 5k. So he's basically a 20k dual attacker, it's really good because this deck is really mid-rangey um, and can go very aggressive, you want to be rushing your opponent down, especially if they're playing something like blue. Um, also, the fact that it's a 3 drop red card means that it can be targeted by your unison minus 2 effect and he will be gaining 5k, so it's a 20k. Um, so that means that your unison can board wipe anything 20k or less, which is so amazing. Um, it comes in so clutch against a lot of aggro decks or range decks. Um, 
so we'll go over this extra card it's just a one drop activate battle if your leader is a red king piccolo card you place one red demon clan card with an energy cost of three or less from your deck in your life face up and then you get to combo with a red demon clan card in your life and then shuffle your deck um, this card is so amazing it just lets you choose around any of these three reign of terror cards from your deck you just get to choose any which one you want and then you get to combo with it so you're gaining just free advantage because you get the 5k combo and then you get to play it because it was technically combo from life even though you got it from the deck uh, just a really amazing card for defensive or offensive plays um, because you get to select any of your range of terrors and combo with them and bring them up for free um, i'm only running it at three because it is a one drop extra card and on your turn, because you're playing red, you want to be using a lot. You're going to be using a lot of your energy, so your energy is really valuable, and you want a lot of free stuff. So even a one energy extra card can be very expensive for a red deck. Um, on to the next card. This is another centerpiece of the deck: Piano Reign of Terror. Uh, this is the only Reign of Terror that doesn't bring himself out from the life. But he is unique and he has an auto, he's a one drop battle card, he has an auto, if your leader is a red king piccolo card, when a card is placed up in your life face off from any area other than your life, you draw a card. I cannot explain to you how amazing this is, like it's a good job that Bandai printed this guy with unique because if you could get multiple card pieces of this card out and draw like three to four cards a turn, it would just be so broken. Um, he, he means that your leader autos will be plusing you as well as letting you see a new card and set up your life. Um, and he it's an auto once per turn, which is very balanced, but it means that it can trigger in your opponent's turn as well. And your activate battle on your leader, which also triggers in your opponent's turn, um, plays the card from the top of the deck into your life face up. So it will trigger piano. So if you use the activate battle, even during your opponent's turn, you can bring out one of these three for free, um, and then set up a next, another life face up, which could theoretically be another of these three, and then get a free draw and 5k combo. Um, and then if you're playing drum off of the lead up activate battle, you can minus 10k something and set up a barrier blocker. Like it's just an amazing way to gain advantage on your and your opponent's turn. And not only that, but it has inherent protection. So if your leader is a red king piccolo card and you flip one face up card in your life face down, when he's placed in the drop area from your battle area by an opponent's skill, you can play him with his skills negated for the turn. This is just amazing because it's very rare that he's going to be uh, killed by battle. Uh, the only situation that that will really happen is against yellow if they switch him to rest mode and then attack it. Um, and it just means that they have to kill him twice with a skill if they want to kill him. And then you probably will have another in your hand because this deck draws a lot. Uh, On to the next card, King Piccolo Dragon Ball Obsession. This is just uh, a nice searcher for the deck, your other one drop. You've got eight plays on turn one. Uh, and it's just an auto when it's played, you look at the top five, you get to add a red Namekian or Demon Clan card with energy cost of four or less, or a red Unison with specified cost of two from your deck to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So this searches almost any of the battle cards and Unison cards in the deck. The only battle card it doesn't search is the six drop King Piccolo and the four drop Toppo, because obviously the four drop Toppo is neither Namekian nor Demon Clan, and the 6 drop is a 6 drop which is outside of the 4 or less specified requirements for this. Uh, he also gets to search out your unison which means you can turn 1 play him if you don't have the unison, grab it and then turn 2 go into your unison and just set up a bunch of defense for your turn 3 explosion. Um, I'm running 1 violent raise. This is a very weird one off. Um, I'm a big fan of one offs though because it just it counteracts um, the diminishing returns of seeing multiple copies of a card in your hand because the second time you draw another copy of a card it's going to be a lot worse than just seeing one copy of a card that's why i have often have a rule with myself that if i have multiple copies of a card in hand i'm going to be charging one of them in energy that time because it's just worth less and unless it's a really powerful card i don't want to be seeing multiple copies of a card 
realistically, Violent Rays can be a lot of things. It can be uh, another card I wanted to try out in the deck is Yamcha Merciless Barrage, just offering you extra protection for your turn 2 unison play. And I think that would work really well, so you'd be welcome to swap this out for a Yamcha. I just stuck it in because I thought it would be good against a decent number of aggro and mid range decks, and this deck is going to struggle a decent amount against aggro um, because. If they go in before you can get two or more face-up life, then you have to go down to two life before you can awaken, and that just means that either you're depleting your hand to combo out of their attacks, or you're going down to two life, which against an aggro deck just means that you're probably going to lose next turn, unless you can set up an amazing defense. So this is just a nice deck against aggro, but it could very easily be Yamcha Merciless Barrage, because uh, that card is just as good against aggro, realistically. Um, also, this card is especially good against Red Broly, which is going to be a top contender for next format um, because it means that a lot of their uh, crit guys cannot attack the turn that you play it. Um, I can't remember if the 4-drop can't attack or not. No, I think the 4-drop's 20k with Servant skill, so it means that the 4-drop won't be able to attack, so it negates all of the crit attacks uh, swings. And running Yamcha Merciless Barrage isn't as amazing against them because of if they're awakened um, and you Yamcha one of their one drop or two uh, three drop rollies and try and kill it, um, they'll just be able to use their leader effect to bring out a four drop, and that's not good. Like, that's you might as well have not killed the card and let them invest the extra energy into the swap skill at that point. So that's why I'm running Violent Rays at the moment, but it could be easily a Yamcha. And I'm running two Wolfang Fist. Um, this could easily be 3 or 4, it's a very very strong card, I just think that at 2 it's nice because you don't always want to be seeing it, um, you only really want to see it turn 2 or 3, uh, just as a nice defensive tool to protect your units and protect your leader against the aggressive decks. It's a really nice card, but a lot of the time you want to be seeing your proactive plays as well, so it's not, it's not necessarily a 4 of. Um, our super combo choice for the deck is Dependable Warrior Piccolo. This is just because it's a Namekian, so it's searchable with your King Piccolo 1-drop, and it's searchable with your King Piccolo 4-drop. It's the perfect super combo for the deck. And another amazing thing is that it's if your life is at 4 or less, your leader only starts out with 6 life, so you only need to take 2 life for your super combos to be live. You just have to watch out for um, your leader awaken skill, as this will put you up an extra life and it could turn off your super combos. So if you're against an aggressive deck and you have two or more face up life, um, then you need to watch out for that and make sure that you don't misplay with the super combo. Um, we're currently running one King Piccolo first up to revival. This is one of the promo cards out of the tournament pack, I think. And it's a very interesting card, because it, when it's used in a combo, you get to use a face-up Demon Clan card in your life as a combo. So one of these 12, I suppose you could technically use Piano as well, but it's not worth it, you want to be using these because they free play themselves from life. Um, and then he has an activate main of warping himself from the drop area, as, and then giving one of your Red Namekian or Demon Clan cards 5k power for the turn. So I'll start off with the auto. The interesting thing about the auto is unlike the activate battle on your leader, it doesn't replace the life when it combos a demon card from the life. So it can be very, very risky to use this against aggro and just any deck really, because you're losing a life and when you start out with six life, that's a dangerous um, that's a dangerous move to take. The reason that I'm running this card and I'm running it at exactly one is for a finisher. It is an amazing card for when you're going all in, you're trying to kill your opponent, because on your all in turns, you are likely going to be playing a King Piccolo 4 drop. Um, and this guy, when he evolves on uh, one of your Red King Piccolos with an energy cost of 3 or less, you can search a Namekian or Demon Clan card with an energy cost of 4 or less, or a regular Missile with specified cost of 2. That includes this card. And it means that if you know that you're going to be trying to kill them, you can play this guy and then search out this guy. And it will just, this guy gives you, he's effectively a super combo because he'll combo himself and he'll combo one of your demon clans from life. So it's a 10k power super, uh, 10k power combo. 
uh, which is great, just giving you extra power on your one of your last swings. And he plays a god um, if you're comboing one of these, which you should be. Um, so it's just really nice when you're trying to end the game because it's effectively a super combo and it gives you an extra swing. And it, if you're comboing it and playing out a tambourine, it will give you an extra 220k swings. Um, so at the moment I think this is a good one-off just for those um, finishing turns and it could, it's arguable that it could be cut down to uh, zero and you could run Yamcha Merciless Barrage if you're really struggling against, struggling against aggro decks um, but at the moment I'm going to keep this in just because I think it's a, it's a cool card realistically. Also going over the second effect, giving a card 5k it does a lot for this deck because of your unison minus two and your six drop, um, which I'll get onto later. But he has a requirement to play him, which is effectively successor for power. Uh, so 5k power does a lot for this deck. Next, uh, we have actually I'll cover the four drop first. So the four drop is a red EX evolve on a red King Piccolo with an energy cost of three or less. You have seven targets, which are the four one drops, which you generally want to be evolving over, and the three three drops. Um, both are decent to evolve over, but if you evolve over the King Piccolo um, three drop, you cannot swing with the King Piccolo three drop and the King Piccolo four drop because the EX evolve will make him come in in rest mode if you swing with the three drop. So you just want to be wary of that. Most of the time you'll be evolving over the one drop because you get, you'll be playing him anyway because it's a free search. And then you can, for a total of two energy, you get a search and then you get to play this guy and get all of his effects. So his effects are when he, when he gets evolved into, you can search a red Nemechian or demon clan card with an energy cost of four or less other than copies of this card, or one red unison card with a specified cost of two from your next hand. So, same requirements as the one drop, and same again, you can search any of your battle cards and unison cards, except for the six drop and the topper. Uh, just a really amazing card, you want to be playing this at every situation that you can, unless you think you're going to die next time. His other auto, which you can't see all of right now, um, I'll try scrolling down a little bit for you. So when he once per turn, when he's played or attacks, you can choose up to one of your red Namekia, uh, run one of your red demon clan cards in your battle area, and he gains 20k power for the turn. Um, that's an amazing effect for this deck, and I'll explain why. So first of all, it happens when it's played or attacks. So if this guy survives um, into multiple turns, you'll just be putting on so much pressure. 20k is a lot of power. That's more than two super combos to combo out of. That's so much pressure. Um, secondly, it, as I said earlier, the same as Mr. Ryan when it was uh, three drop. Um, power does a lot for this deck, so obviously if you're minus two on the unison, you can be, suddenly, if you have Tambourine out, you can be killing everything that's 40k or less if you play the four drop King Piccolo. And that's for a total of two energy if you play the one drop in the same turn. Um, and then using your leaders activate battle to bring up the tambourine and if you you should already have the king piccolo you just on board with minus two on that uh, swing with the tambourine first and then play this I, I did this in the reverse order so you want to be playing this guy down giving your tambourine 20k swinging with him twice for 40k um, to attack and then using the minus two on your unison to kill anything that's 40k or less on your opponent's board just a crazy, crazy combo, complete board wipe for any deck, almost. Um, so onto the 6 drop, he's deflect, double strike and dual attack. So this guy is your finisher, that's why we're running him at 3, because we don't really want to be seeing him early on in the game, but it's very important to see him after like turn 3 or so. And because of the amount of deck draws, you probably see multiple copies of this before turn 3. Uh, so when he is removed from the battle area by a skill or KO, you get to play a one red face-up Piccolo Jr. card for, with an energy cost of four or less from your life. The only target is this guy at the moment in the deck. He's, um, he's a very strong card, but he is unique. So you're probably not going to be getting that effect off too often. 
um, but you can just stick one of these in your life uh, if you already have one on board and have it just sit there until they kill your King Piccolo. So it's it's some nice recursion. It's, it can work very well. Um, and then the activate main for one red if your leader is a red King Piccolo card and you choose any number of red demon card cards in your battle area whose total power adds up to 40,000 or more and place them in the drop areas and play this card. Now that's amazing for this deck. So a lot of ways that you can get to 40k power or more with the Reign of Terrors. The Reign of Terrors are the only Demon Clan cards in the deck. So they're each 15k, so one easy way to do it is to just kill off three of them if you have three of them on board. Another way is using Tambourine. Um, he's 20k base if you swing with him. And giving him 20k with... Uh, your King Piccolo, that is 40k, so you can just sacrifice Tambourine and go into your 6 drop. So on turn 3, you can go 1 drop into 4 drop to get a search, 2 searches off of that. Uh, give 20k to your Tambourine once you've played him. Uh, swing twice with Tambourine for 40k, minus 2 to clear their entire board for 40k or less, and then tap 1 red for your 3 energy. Play this guy Deflect, Double Strike, Dual Attack, he has Deflect so he's not getting counterplayed. Um, just a very very strong uh, turn because you get a 20k swing, two 40ks, a 15k and then two 25k double strikes. That's a lot of power and a lot of pressure to be putting on your opponent. So some other ways that you can get to 40k or more is just giving one of your demon clans 20k and then if you don't have Tamarine on board, sacrifice enough two demon clans. Um, also, this is where this King Piccolo comes in. You can use the activate main from your drop area um, to give, say you don't have Tambourine on board, you can give one of these to 5k and then use King Piccolo to make it a 40k and then just sack it off for King Piccolo with the 6 drop. Um, so it's a lot like successor but with power. Um, it's a very interesting mechanic and I think it's really cool and it's very strong. Um, now on to this 3-drop which we skipped, um, this is your other search target of the King Piccolo, so on your, if you think that you're going to be killing them that turn, which often on turn 3 or 4 you will be, or you'll be trying to pressure for the kill list, you want to be either searching for this 3-drop King Piccolo, or if you already have a copy, search for this 3-drop King Piccolo. Um, they each apply such a huge amount of pressure. This guy, um, he is a, has an activate main. If you have a red unit, you can't play with three or more markers on it. You can play him from your hand for free, and then he gains 5k, and your opponent can't activate blocker skills, and then at the end of the turn, he gets sent to the warp. Um, so, and he's a double strike. So he's a 20k free double striker. And even if your unison has one marker at the start of the turn, you can use his plus one effect to gain marker, and then use symbols activate main to give him another marker, and that's three markers. So as long as you have a unison on board, you will very easily get out this three drop. Um, and if you have multiple symbols on board, you can stack this guy up to three, play this guy down to three, and then use this guy's minus two still to clear their board on on the King Piccolo to clear their board of everything 20k power or less, which is an amazing combo. Um, also, if you're really desperate, you can evolve the 4-drop over the 3-drop. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this because you miss out on a 20k double strike swing with your power counter block. Um, although, if you swing with this guy and then evolve into him, it can be a nice play because you won't get the auto to for when the 4-drop attacks because you can use it when it's played as well. So there's no point in attacking with him for the uh, purpose of getting the auto because you'll have already triggered it that turn. And this guy is only a 20k swing whereas this guy is a 20k double strike. So you can still give the 20k power to something else is what I'm trying to say. Um, so just a really amazing card in the stack. I wasn't, I was considering running four of it, but you see it so much, and if you don't see it, you can always search it up with this four drop. So it's like we're running seven copies of the card. It's just a really strong card. Um, then on to Topo, I mean three Topo. Um, hang on a second. I 
think that in my original list I'm running two topo. Let me just count. I think that this might be a 51 card list. Um, I'm not sure how you check, but anyway, um, if this is a 51 card list, just cut one of the top ones out. Um, yeah, no, this is meant to be at two. This is meant to be at two. I'm not entirely sure how you do this, but anyway, two topo. Just a really amazing card for red. In my opinion, red has one of the best defenses at the moment, besides blue, because obviously blue is completely based around counter plays and counter attacks at the moment, with all the baby stuff and the um, trunks counter play. It's just insane how much they can stop you doing in a turn. But Topo is really lovely to have against aggro decks, and often you can leave one or two energy open for your opponent's turn because the only cards that really cost energy that you're going to be playing on your turn are your unison, um, your 6 drop, your 4 drop, and your 2 one drops. And each of them only cost 1 energy. Everything else in the deck is free um, that you're going to be playing on your turn. So, and this guy, you might play him on your turn, but only if you're going for game. And if you're going for game, you don't want to leave energy open for top of anyway. Um, so Topo is just a really good card. As I said, this deck struggles a lot with aggro, so this card will help a lot with that. Um, if you don't see your unison and you're against an aggro deck, you can just leave the two energy open for Topo. Um, so yeah. And for the last card, I'm running three Piccolo Junior, the King Scion. This is another King Piccolo card that comes out in the tournament pack, I believe, and it's a unique double strike blocker. And he has a counter attack, negate the attack and play this card in rest mode. And you can only use counter skills on the copies of him once per turn. And his permanent is what just makes him an amazing card for the deck. Is if your leader is a red king piccolo card and you have a red unit so with a specified cost of two in play, you can use his counter from hand without paying the cost. So he's effectively a free counter attack that plays a double strike blocker 20k in rest mode. Um, if this guy played in active mode, he'd be even better, but the fact that he offers so much defense and offense in one card is so perfect, because depending on your matchup, what deck you're against, and what the situation is, you can either swing for 20k double strike on your turn, or just leave him as a blocker, and negate attacks with him. As soon as he's being killed, you can bring out other copies of him using his counter attack skill. So, just a really amazing card for the deck brings the deck all together and offers you even more defense on your turn two or three when you want to be protecting your units. Uh, this is another reason why I'm only running two Wolfang Fist because um, a lot of the time you're just going to be negating attacks with this guy and getting a free 20k double strike block of, um, out instead of minus 15k or something. Uh, so that's just an amazing card for the deck. And that's the deck profile, so I really hope you enjoyed guys, I'm going to try and upload some gameplay maybe later this week or something, uh, so look forward to that, turn notifications on for, uh, if you want to be notified about more content including the gameplay, um, I've been really enjoying this deck and I'm sure that you will too if you try it out. Um, a lot of the people have been saying that this deck isn't going to be that good, but I have faith in it, Red is looking really strong in the next set. Uh, along with launch, um, Red just looks to be really, really good fun. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to see more content uh, from me. Big O Notation. Um, and I hope you have a nice evening.